This week I won't be doing a traditional tutorial, but it is still important to JavaScript. I want to encourage you to participate in the State of JavaScript survey. This will be the fifth year of the survey and it provides super valuable information. This is one way you can give back to the JavaScript community and in return receive some very valuable information. I have used the results of this survey every year. It shows trends in JavaScript, new concepts that are accepted and used or not understood, new libraries and how accepted they are and how much they're used, and lots of other valuable information. The survey takes a bit of time to complete, but please go to the URL and take the time to fill things out. You will need to create an account so you can stop in the middle of doing the survey and come back to it later if you want. Now I want to show you what types of information the survey is gathering so you can see the value of it. So I'm going to log into my account here and click on take the survey and then I'm just going to sign in And while I'm getting to the survey, one thing I should mention is if you speak a language that the survey hasn't been translated to yet, that's another way you can help out. You can help translate the survey to your own native language. So here is the beginning of the survey and State of JavaScript for 2020. And you can see all the different areas that it's going to be asking questions about. Notice that there are questions about syntax. How well is it understood? I've never heard of it. I know what it is, but haven't used it. I've used it. So that's the structuring, that's the spread operator. Many of these things we've covered in tutorials here on this channel. Knowledge coalescing is one we did oh, about a month ago. Um, so there's an optional chaining we did. I think that was the most recent tutorial we did. So anyway, it asks questions about the syntax. There's questions about the language itself. What features of the language have you heard of and used? Data structures, maps and sets, those are obviously things we've talked about in some of the tutorials. Browser APIs, have you worked with any of these browser APIs? And then other features. And then we get into JavaScript flavors, have you used TypeScript, Reason, Elm, and so on. We're getting uh, a lot of different JavaScript flavors there. And then front-end frameworks. This is where we, from the survey, we find out how popular these front-end frameworks were, are and how they're being used. Data layer pieces like Redux. Uh, Back-end frameworks. Have you used Express? Testing platforms. Jest and Mocha. Have those been used? Build tools this is where we get into things like Webpack, mobile, mobile and desktop. Are you using JavaScript for any of these mobile and desktop features? And then it talks about other tools. Then we have some questions on resources and opinions. And then it asks questions or information about you. And so as you can see, it's a pretty long survey. But the, the nice thing about it being a long survey is the information we get from this survey is very valuable. And when it's all compiled, it takes a couple of months, you'll receive a link to see the results. It seems every year I spend a good deal of time on the results. It really clarifies the state of JavaScript for me. I know where to focus my own learning as well as what topics should be covered in my teaching or on this channel. And I think you will find it very helpful as well. So take some time, fill out the survey, give back to the community, and once again, thanks for subscribing and watching to my channel as well. I'll talk to you next time when we'll have a more traditional tutorial.